uh, you had an interview with the financial prosecutor, mm. Ali Ibrahim. Mm. Kindly, can you tell us a little bit about this interview mm. and the conclusion that, yeah, absolutely. that can benefit us or maybe find some, some mm. light? Some clarity. Air. Some clarity, mm. exactly. Many of the miners that we spoke to during, during this research, as I said, they feel themselves at the time and still feel themselves to be operating in a, a legal gray zone. And this was the quote that came up again and again. We're in a legal gray zone. The problem is that there has been no real legislation passed mm. regarding cryptocurrency at all. And as is often the case in Lebanon, the state uh, is woefully behind the people in terms, mm. of, uh, in terms of innovation and adaptation and activity in general. However, yet yeah, I spoke to the financial prosecutor to very directly ask, is this legal? Because the financial prosecutor was in fact involved in shutting down some of the operations in the shoe when the miners initially gravitated there. And he said there is no law against it and there is no law for it. Mm. It is therefore de facto not illegal and not illegal means legal. So he didn't criminalize this activity at all? Well, his, his words were, you know, I'm paraphrasing slightly, but he was quite clear. He was like, as long as they are obtaining electricity in legal means, uh -huh. it's not illegal. And you wrote this article for? Uh, rest of world. Okay.